Good evening once again. This is Dr. Bonsai, Dr. Bonsai's Beam Emporium. I have the Urban Mechalance. Why? Why would I buy this? I don't know. Stop telling people how to enjoy themselves. That's my that's my counter ask. Why are you such a fun governor? Why do you hate fun things? That's why I bought this. Because I like fun things. And the Urban Mech is fun. So, first things first. Paperwork. <clears throat> and then we get our four pilot cards. So we get Strask, Gerald Lonegren, Lonegan, Dahlia Olofsson, Reagan, Dua Chief Fett. Awanita Onalasa, Cephalo Schwartz, and Jameson Tate. These are pilots. We have all sorts of wacky stuff. So the R93, which is, uh, I believe it's Dark Age. Yeah, it's Dark Age. Or Republic era, the Ill Clan era. It's got three SRM6s with three SRM6s with, uh, I believe, actuator enhancement system, because why not? So, oh, that's the R27, okay. And then you got the R93. You get the R80. You get the R68. You get the R70. You get the R60L. You get the R69. <laughs> that's the sex number. And, uh, the Urban Mech R60. Okay, here we go. I'm trying something different. I'm trying to actually be funny and make this amusing. And I don't know if it's making anybody laugh, but it's making me laugh, and that's the most important thing currently. So, we got our four mechs. Pop each of these out. And, of course, it comes... You can't avoid the reposes, even with the unique urban mech lance. You can't avoid the, the catalyst reposing of existing mini. So in this particular case, here's your, your repose of your standard uh, standard urban mech versus your uh, salvage box urban mech. Or if you're one of those crazy guys uh, or gals that got the, um, the uh, urban company, which to be perfectly honest with you, if, you know, again, kind of sidebar here. If I was doing this, if I was going to say, okay, I'm going to make a meme product, I would have made an urban lance, but I would have sprinkled these guys in for seasoning. I would have made it make sense because you're thinking about like, oh no, I'm broke bones of my ass planetary government and all I can afford is urban mix. That's going to be the most efficient company of urban mix you've ever seen in your life. Because it's got a fire support guy, it's got a big gun guy, it's got a close, an even closer range shooty missile pew pew guy. You know, and then you got some some baseline guys sprinkled in for for flavor and funsies. So, and you can defray the cost of an urban mech company like that. But no, he's twelve urban mechs with no no gimmicks, which is kind of sad, but whatever. And then we have the. Draconis Combine version, which is one of the only mechs that I've seen that is like kneeling on the ground. So it's kind of taking a knee and it's giving you all 30, 30 barrels of the missile system. And then that's compared to his contemporary with the, the vanilla AC-10. And then you have this gentleman with the three SRM-6s and the actuator enhancement systems, which... Okay, again, kind of sidebar. Putting an actuator enhancement system on an urban mech is like putting a spoiler on a Cavalier, a Chevrolet Cavalier. You're not doing anything. You may be making yourself feel better, but it's not It's not going to help your performance that much. But again, it's neither here nor there. And then finally, you get the girthy boy. Oof. Wow. Yeah. And again, continuing the trend of uh, just these huge AC-20s and uh, really enjoying the look of these. And that's 
That's the positively uh, anemic looking AC-10. You know, this guy's a grower, this guy's a shower, you know what I'm saying, fellas? So, there we go. Urban Mac Lance. Under six minutes. That's amazing. Oh, I forgot to do one more Urban Mac comparison. So, Urban Mac. Urban Mac. Urban Mac. Urban Mac. And finally, Urban Mac. And to be perfectly honest with you, I'm really surprised they didn't give you this as a piece of terrain, because this is probably where all of these are going to be in the end up at the end of a typical Battletech game. So, all right, guys, hope you had fun. Have a good evening.